reminds me of uh, Nicole mixed in with Kiana or something. She's adorable. Okay, so hi, today we got the drip marketing for the first Natland characters and actually they kind of went for a different direction than what we usually get here. Uh, so the art style is different, we actually get a full body pose here and then we got a lot of um, text uh, talking about the characters, it's like the, the Mestly guide which is interesting and then we get the usual character card. Um, interestingly enough, it doesn't seem like we are getting to see their weapon on the character card, which is something that typically we get, we usually get, uh, which I'm not sure I like, because I do enjoy seeing the weapon. Uh, I think we literally do not have the information here, it just say what element they are, uh, which I, I'm not a big fan of, but uh, yeah, regardless, let's have a look at these. So, first and foremost, uh... I, I love her design. I think she looks so freaking cool. I think she looks amazing. I like her eyes. She reminds me of so many characters from Kai and Uh She kind of reminds me of uh, Nicole mixed in with Kiana or something. She's adorable. I love the long braid. I love the uh, aesthetic. She has like those um, like sun bathing tattoo that makes any sense. Um, I love all the fishes in here. Uh, she has a little seal on the bracelet. The shark is so adorable. I assume that's a Saurian companion. And she's very cute. Please splash Wave Chaser. Uh, Alright, what does the text say? In terms of how well they know Natlan, perhaps even the birds that gaze down upon this land from high up above would fall short of the guys from the people of the springs. Long, long ago, their forerunners once measured the world with their feet, transforming the winding perilous paths they walked into a network of orderly lines on their maps. As a member of the people of the spring's new generation of young guys, Mualani has already established an eminent name for herself through Natlan. With her to lead the way, you'd be sure to experience the spectacular sight of volcanic eruptions, breathing the refreshing natural fragrances of ember core flowers, even witness spontaneous performances but on pack put on sorry, by pack of Koho Lazors. But likewise, if there was an emergency or you just need to be somewhere urgently, she would find a shortcut to get you here and safely. As safely, soundly, as smoothly as possible. Everyone knows the roots, Moalani herself would tell you, but timing's the key. You can't just set off whenever you feel like it. That would be extremely unlucky. Naruhodo, Naruhodo. Um, so I assume the people of the spring is one of the tribe? Um, or it's her family? I don't know. I would assume it's like one of the tribe. So it seems like uh, maybe it's uh, the tribe or her family uh, always worked on like... Maybe they were explorers or, you know, like... Um, scouts that kind of stuff so they used to pass riders let's put it this way so she seems to be one of them uh seeing like what they're talking about like her the way she is she's like a guide for people for tourists or for whatever so i would assume that she's gonna be important in the story she's probably gonna be the first uh character we really meet in that land and then i would speculate that she's gonna be our guide through it um, to tell us about the culture, the region, uh, the upcoming event, because we know it's going to be the big tournament, right? So that's very interesting, uh, and I'm looking forward to meeting her. Personally, I'm going to try to pull for her. I think she looks amazing. Uh, so yeah, now we can see the other character card. And here it says, it's a quote from Sitlali. Sitlali is the girl with the pink hair. There's not a spot in the whole of Natland this girl couldn't reach if she wanted. So why does she come asking if it's an auspicious day for an outing every single day? time. Oh well, now that I've read her fortunes for a whole decade in advance, I finally have some space, some peace and quiet. Interesting! So Mualani is the Splish Splash Wave Chaser. The Splish Splash, that kind of reminds me of the name that uh, uh, Ember has. Mestly Guide. So I assume Mestly is the name of the, the tribe, probably. She's a Hydrovision, so we've got that confirmed. Her constellation is Foca Neomanacus. I feel like Foca is um, its seal. Uh, it's probably the, the name for seal in Latin. Neomanacus, uh, that sounds like the etymology for like a dinosaur or something. Anyway, very cute, very lovely. I speculate a weapon is a catalyst still. Uh, it's unfortunate that we don't get to see it, but it is what it is. I kind of liked when they used to show the weapons on the character card, but I guess they decided not to do that anymore. 
Uh, but yeah, I think she's really cute. I would definitely pull for her personally. And uh, yeah, looks amazing. Love her. Absolutely love her. Uh, interesting also to know now that Sitlali is actually a fortune teller. Uh, that's a little bit of uh, random lore to be thrown into this character presentation, but I like it. I'm down. Alright, moving on. Uh, so yeah, I think she's a 5-star catalyst, Hydro. Now we have confirmation for Hydro. 5-star, uh, I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, anyway, moving on. So next, we have Kinnik or Kinish. I don't know how it's pronounced, but uh, there it is. So, oh yeah, here it says, Splish Light Wave Chaser Metzli Guide. Okay, so here we have the Turnfire Hunt. Witzlan, Witzlatan, Storian Hunter. So that's, I assume, is once again his tribe. What's interesting here is that uh, the little pet here, uh, when we saw him in the cinematic, he was red. And here is, is yellow. So maybe this is its normal state, and when it gets mad, it turns red, which would make sense. Uh, I assume every single one of those characters has a Soren companion, and this is his. Why is it pixel? I don't know. I'm very curious about that. I'm looking forward to it. I think overall his design is okay. He kind of has that urban wear kind of style. I could see him doing some parkour or whatever. I actually think he would fit kind of well in the ZZZ style of um, artistic direction, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, it's not really for me. I'm probably going to be skipping him. Now we have the confirmation that he's a Dendro character. Uh, from the cinematic, it looks like he is using a Claymore. So I think he's going to be the Dendro 5-star Claymore character. Uh, seeing the order of things, I assume she's going to be the first, the phase 1 character. He's going to be phase 2 of 5.0. And uh, yeah, he seems to have some ability to fly. Uh, I feel like it's probably going to be a... We just got, what's her name? We just got Emily who buffs like burning. So I feel like it's going to be a dendro burning kind of character. And I wonder if he's going to have some amount of uh, plunging um, properties in his kit. Because we see him flying on a thing. Or maybe it's only a traversal thing. I guess we'll find out in the future. But yeah. Uh, it's one thing to charge a fee for delivering a letter, but charging for being a flame bearer on turn fire night is outrageous. Is this really a hero of ours? So he's supposed to be a hero? Okay. It's not like you just met him today. Surely you'd admit that he does his job well. That's all that matters. In Natlan, where humans and Saurians live together in harmony, there have always been some who have looked askance at Saurians hunters. In a land full of heroes, their practice of assessing commissions at setting a price makes the profession even more controversial. A cruel, ruthless, cold-blooded killer, Pragmatic, utilitarian, without so much as a hint of a chivalrous decorum. In such heartless, damning terms do people describe the young man that never argues back, but what of it? As long as the price is right, all commissions shall be fulfilled in a satisfactory manner. All writhing, raging aberrants return to the Night Kingdom from whence they came. Once the bearer of the Turnfire name has locked onto a target, there is no looking back. So, he's a Saurian hunter, it seems. So, I assume that he... Um, yeah, he takes commission to, to kill Sorion that are causing problems, I assume. Uh, which I could definitely see is a polarizing job in that land because they are a country that live with Sorion together in harmony. But I guess some of them are causing issues and so he accepts those jobs. Uh, Alright, so he seems to be a very, very colder character. Uh, kind of reminds me maybe of a younger... Maybe someone who doesn't really care for people's like opinions. Kind of like um, a, a Lysam. Uh, but maybe on a more less exuberant attitude, I assume. Uh, anyway, it looks kind of good. I like him. And then we have... This servant of mine is no fool and nimble too. As far as servants go, his biggest fault is that no matter how hard you try, you simply can't get rid of him. I mean it, he literally would not die. Have you ever heard of someone falling headfirst off a cliff and still surviving? Utterly infuriating. Cool Ajar, the self-proclaimed almighty dragon lord. So I think Cone Ajar is actually this little Saurian guy. Uh, so, this is him talking about that guy. Um, Name Kinnik, Turnfire Hunt, Wizard Clan, Saurian Hunter, Dendro, Constellation, Chimera, Alebrius. Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, looking good, looking good. So, um, yeah, Dendro family, Claymore, 5 star, that's my thought. Next, we have Kachina, which is this little girl right there. Uh, I think she's absolutely adorable. I love that she has, like, this little a drill machine that serves as this mode of transportation that she has. She's able to climb surfaces, to climb cliff. Uh, we've seen that in the game, in the cinematic, I mean. 
Uh, I like her ears. I don't know what she is. Uh, maybe a Lemurian or a squirrel, something like that. I think it's really adorable. Um, I kind of like her design. She feels more like a four star. So I think she's going to be a four star. Um, I like the braid, you know, here, here. She's very adorable. I really, really like her design. I think a lot of the kid design in the game are really, really cute in general. I like them. So, uh, yeah, and she is Geo. So we got this conversation, confirmation, sorry. So it's good to see that uh, everybody was kind of right on the money with those. Um, and here it says, the mortal gold yet unsmelted. Nanatskaya and Young Braveheart. So what's interesting here is that because of the video, I thought that she was from the same tribe as Moalani. But here it's a Nanatskayan. Uh, and Moalani is a Metzli guide. So if this is the name of the tribe, then I guess we were wrong. Uh, but it is what it is. Anyway, just like other younglings of the Children of Echoes. Children of Echoes? Kachina grew up surrounded by adorable Tevet Lizors, shiny gems dug up from the death and heroic stories passed down by tribal elders. Tribal elders. She came to know the mountain paths like the back of her hand, developing a great instinct and skill for searching out the treasures of the earth. In her leisure time, she and her friends would often visit the recording studio where musicians made their music, where they would dance freely to, be, to the pulsing rhythm. Growing up in such an environment, the occasional bump or scratch was unavoidable. And when she hurt herself, Kachina would cry out in pain just like any other child. But long before others had recovered from their pain, she would have wiped away her tears and stood up back again. Of course, she understands why the adults might see her as a good kid, yet she struggles to comprehend why she of all people was given the name of Uthabiti. For as the ancient poem goes, the one that dare stand firm as a mountain, their bones like battlements, and hold the sun's gaze, it is they that shall be given to eternity. Fritzef should instead fear me, for my body is like a roaring blaze. Destined to melt down all that is mean and lowly, then cast it once more as an epitaph. What part of her life of her, of her lives up to the lofty spirit embodied by this great name? The young Kachina has yet to figure this out, but having been granted this great honor, she's determined never to give up, no matter how many of her beats at the pilgrimage of the return of the sacred flame and in vain. Even if it means being ostracized and reproached by her peers, or feeling disappointed, inferior, and at times nearly overwhelmed by landslides of negativity, in the end she wiped it all away along with her tears, because one thing is for certain, that Usta BT Kachina will never be defeated by her tears. Oh, that's so cute. So, they talk about the pilgrimage of the return of the sacred flame. I think that actually means that there is probably a flame in every single tribe, and among the tribe, one champion is selected, and they go of in the on the pilgrimage of the sacred flame and then bring it to the the place of the tournament um so they're chosen to participate i think this is kind of something like that um and yeah she's very adorable um also they mentioned something uh yeah about how she can find the treasure of the earth so i wonder if she's gonna be having a talent related to ores maybe she can like find the ores in the on the minimap or something like that that would be um that would fit with our backstory, right? And then we got a character card. No long after we first met, I saw Kachina crying and tried to hand her handkerchief. But smiling back, she said to me, Don't worry, I'll wipe my own tears away. That was a moment I always remember, so don't you worry about her either. The girl's made of strong stuff, just make sure you give her all the encouragement she needs. So that's said by Mualani. Okay, so it seems that they're from different tribes, but they are friends. Uh, Kachina, the mortal gold yet unsmelted. Yet and smelted, I think this basically means the diamond in the rough, right? Nanatsukai and young brave heart, because she's very brave of heart. Vision, Geo, and constellation Okotana Princeps. Very, very cute, very, very nice. Uh, I wonder what kind of abilities she has. I feel like she's gonna be a, five, a four star shielder or something. She'll probably have a lot of. Um, I feel like. Because she's about, like, getting ores and stuff, I feel like she'd probably be able to um, create a lot of crystallization. That would make sense, right? So, yeah, overall, this character looking good. I think she's got to be the four star. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Who do you guys like the most? Who are you guys going to be trying to get or to pull? And, uh, yeah, do let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, all the good, good. And I'll see you next time.